Hi, this is Elisa from Dora. Today I'll be guiding you through importing a site design from Figma, adding constraints, and turning it into a fully responsive website. I'll explain a few best practices along the way, but I'll make sure to make the process as smooth as possible so that you'll be able to convert your site within a few minutes as well. So without further ado, let's get started. To start with, we'll install the plugin. Let's go ahead and try it out. What happened is, it will open a new Figma design file for us to run the plugin. And back in Figma, if you don't see the plugin right away, just go to Resources, go to the Plugins tab, and click on Figma to Dora, and then run your plugin. So now what we're going to do is to find a landing page. We're inside the community page of Figma, and let's type in landing page. For this particular demo, we're going to use this NFT landing page created by Qclay Design. Let's open that real quick in our Figma file. And now as we have this open, we're ready to start importing. But I noticed there are some missing fonts in this file, so what we're going to do is to go ahead and replace that with a Google font that can be applied in Dora as well. So for this one, we're going to use Outfit and replace that. Okay, now that the fonts are replaced, we're ready to start importing. But before that, we need to check for layers that need to be merged. For example, here in this section, we have this map right here that contains multiple vector elements inside. And what we're going to do is to first select them all and then flatten that into one single layer. And you need to check for it in your file to make sure that it doesn't affect the speed of your importing. Okay, now we're ready to bring this to Dora. A thing to mention is that we don't want to import the entire landing page at once. What we're going to do is to import them one section at a time. So let's select the first section and go to Plugins and run our Figma to Dora plugin. And see that there's a notification bar jumping says that the copy is complete. So we can go to our Dora editor and then Make sure that the size of your Dora editor is the same as the landing page. So just simply paste it on top of our page and wait for it to copy. And this is what we got. It looks exactly the same as our Figma file. So let's go back to our Figma and copy the second section. To import the second section, what we're going to do is to run last plugin. And the shortcut for that is command option P. So let's just try that real quick and wait for it to copy. And once the copy is complete, let's go to the Dora editor and then command V or right click and paste. And now that we've finished importing all the sections, we're going to make them responsive. What we're going to do is to select this first section and then change its width from pixel to VW. And for those of you who are not familiar with Dora, VW means the viewport width. And similarly, the VH means viewport height. And it means its relative width and height to the viewport. And after changing its measuring units, we're going to add constraints. So first, we can connect the first section's top to the page top. And another way to set constraint is here. We can just simply uh, center align it by one click. And then similarly, for the second section, we're going to connect it to its section on top and then center align it as well. After all the constraints are applied, we're ready to publish our site. The way to do that is go to the publish button right here and then turn on the switch and let's see what we got. And voila, this is what we have. I would say it looks exactly the same as our Figma landing page and I can't wait for you guys to try out on your projects. Lastly, I would like to mention a few features that Dora can accomplish for your website. First, Dora is able to convert static image into 3D model or video. Dora is also able to polish your websites by adding creative animations to them. And with Dora, you can directly replace UI text with CMS real data binding. So overall, with Dora, you can really create really dynamic and creative websites.